Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to show you today how to import a Blender file or .blend file to Godot extremely easily. So it's a really simple process. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to import uh, this scene right here. I didn't create this, uh, so just on Open Game Art, I'll put the link in the description, but we're going to import this, um, these assets right here. So what we're going to do is you're going to find the, um, the environment.blend file. Um, you're going to double click it, go ahead and open up Blender itself. Now I'm no expert at Blender, I just know the basics, but you do not need to know how to use Blender at all for this. Um, all you need to do is have these files here, and you will go ahead and go to File, uh, you want to export this into a .dae file, so this top one right here. And you go ahead and click on that, and export it. And what this will do, it will bring up uh, this little option here, you want to go ahead and say yes, and it gives you an environment.dae. Now, Godot can actually read these files versus a just normal .blend file. So now, all we have to do is go back to our Godot program and drag and drop, oops, drag and drop the environment.dae file in and the color palette in. Now that both those are in, you're just going to double click on this file, new inherited, boom, there's our scene and to add the actual color so everything is able to be seen in the right color you'll bring up this color material in the corner <clears throat> go to albedo or albedo and go ahead and carry over this uh, color palette to this texture right here and then you want to go ahead and change this color to white and there's our scene we are now able to uh, move things if we want uh, move them up and down do whatever we need to um, as you can see though there is actually no shadows or lighting at all in this scene. Um, I'll show that in another video, how to do some basic lighting for stuff. But for this, I just want to make it quick and easy. Um, if you didn't know how to bring in a blend file to Godot, this is how you do it. Thanks for watching.